Tonight, the Saints take on the mighty Warrington in the Regal Trophy semi-final. The game postponed from last Saturday due to a frozen pitch, but uh, obviously we played here on Monday and uh, the pitch has cut up a bit with the bad weather, with the thaw. We've had a bit of rain here already this evening, but uh, it doesn't look in bad condition. Uh, credit to Neil Alden and his ground staff. The Warrington side, first out on the pitch. Their side for this evening, Lee Penny at fullback. Mark Forster, Chris Rudd, Andy Currier and Manoa Thompson, the three quarters. Yestin Harris and Mike Ford, this uh, very talented half-back partnership. Mark Jones, John Huff and Mark Hilton in the front row. Dave King out injured. Paul Cullen, Andy Bennett and Ian not the back three. Salisi Faino on the bench along with Gary Chambers. But the Saints side for this evening, Steve Prescott at fullback. Joey Hayes, Andy Northy, Scott Gibbs and Danny Arnold make up the three quarters. Carl Hammond and Bobby Gould in the half-back purring. Adam Fogarty, Kieran Cunningham, Apollo Perellini, Ian Pickervance, Via Matautia and Dean Busby make the back three with Phil Beavers and Simon Booth on the bench. And it's interesting, actually, Ron, looking at the strips of these two sides. Saints played in blue, vertical stripes. Warrington in green, horizontal ones, and a Warrington side wearing green never looks like a Warrington side to me. No, there's nothing like the uh, primrose and blue, is there, my friend? You you, uh, you get uh, honed into that, it's the same as us. We, uh, we like the red and white, even though this is the centenary strip. But referee Smith picking that one up, it was a forward pass as Mark Jones steamed through. And Perellini there, taking the ball up. Still got his left leg, uh, his left knee strapped as Golden runs the ball cross field, gives the dummy, slips it out to Busby, out to Danny Arnold, Arnold up the wing, the full back to beat, Arnold going for the line, oh what a great start, Arnold in behind the sticks, super work by the Saints, watch Bobby Golden, G side up. The Saints start off in impressive fashion, one minute and 40 seconds gone and Saints are on the board. It was chipped through, it was a lovely angle ball. Uh, the, play, the Warrington player picked it up, he had two men on his right, but the pass went forward. As you say, uh, unlucky for Warrington there. Adam Fogarty, the big powerful prop, takes the ball up. That was the turnover on the sixth tackle. Saints now moving it as Golden puts it downfield. It's angled for the corner, Joey Hayes is chasing it. Hayes in the rows, is it a try? It's a try, it must be. He's consulting, referee Smith's consulting with the touch judge. The Warrington player did, he must have touched the ball down. Well, a let off for Warrington again, Jim. Obviously, Golden kicked it through. The Warrington player hasn't been adjudged. He's been adjudged to have touched it down after consultation as Joey Hayes steamed up. I think, I think the Saints supporters there felt he touched that down short of the line. But the referee did well, he actually consulted with his touch judge, but Warrington again are going to be under pressure as Yestin Harris drops it out, not a particularly good drop kick, taken immediately by the Saints and then on the wide 20 again. Yes, Steve Prescott, 30 metres out. Saints with the tails up, Scott Gibbs. Gibbs, oh, powerful shoulder charge on Andy Bennett as he came through there. Cunningham at dummy half, onto Hammond, inside ball there to uh, pick a bounce. Saints are rampant, 10 metres from the Warrington line. They lead by six points to nil. Golding running the angles, drawing the Warrington defence in. Perellini, the Terminator, he's in for the try! The referee looks. Is he going to point? Oh, he's pointed! Oh, super work! The Terminator strikes! And Saints with the second try after five minutes. And the Saints tackling so strong, they're pushing Warrington players back at the play of the ball. Warrington lose possession again. And the opening eight minutes really for Warrington have been an absolute nightmare as the packs go down and Warrington seems to be a little bit overawed by this huge crowd. 90% of them surely from St Helens. And it's going to be Bobby Golin who really has directed operation for Saints tonight to put the ball in again. Are we going to see another try run? Well, I hope so, as far as I'm concerned, Jim, and all you won't. Saints uh, win possession from the scrum. Oh, we are! Andy Nordy under the sticks! Super work by the Saints! Oh, Warrington are being absolutely blitzed! Saints 
once again with possession from the scrum. You can put that hard work down to Adam Fogarty. And uh, another six points, Jim. It's a nightmare as far as you are concerned. But it's about time as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't say you're biased, Ron, not really. But I understand your joy there. 18 points to nil after less than 10 minutes play. And really, Wellington are looking at an absolute nightmare. All gone in this play. Wellington now deep inside Saints territory. Justin Harris on his own. Ball away again. Oh, Tamar Jones, is he going to score? Just pulled down short, I think. Back pulled over on his back, I think, Ron. And Johnny Huff. Again on to Mick Ford, Wellington moving it along very well indeed. It's Andy Currier this time going deep into St. Stanitry. Still going on his own, but a very poor pass indeed. And Wellington really run about two or three golden opportunities and haven't capitalised on them as yet. No, they haven't. Saints come away with it. Scott Gibbs. Gibbs on the wing. Arnold moves inside. Slips it to Arnold. And oh, he's given a forward pass. Never a forward pass in the memory of man. Right in front of us there. Obviously the Saints taking him off his game. He's a class act. Both him and Mike Ford and if they can be silenced. Saints are well on the way. As Pickerman strides through. Up to the halfway line. Cunningham attacked in half. Saints are building up again. Warrington penalised for holding down at the tackle. And Golden takes the penalty. It's a bad kick. Oh, but it's a favourable bounce. It was a quickly taken penalty, and Saints come away with it. Everything seems to be favouring the Saints tonight, and why not indeed? It's about time we got the rub of the green. The Saints moving right, Hammond! Hammond looking for the support, Prescott's there! Prescott linking in from the full-back position. Golding, prodding, pointing as Perellini drives. He's only a metre short, or even less, from the Warrington try line. Warren, uh, Golden changing the point of attack, Saints come through, it's a try! The referee looks, Dean Busby, I think, the man that's come through there for the try. But it's a try by St. Helens again, Dean Busby is the man. 17 minutes gone on the clock. Johnny Hoff, wanting to spin it along this time, Yassin Harris, got on his own! A lovely break by Yassin Harris, surely he will score! No he doesn't, what a lovely tackle on Yassin Harris! Just short of the line, and nothing really going right for Wellington as this ball bobbles about. Andy Currier, knock on. That'll be a scrum for Wellington just in front of the post. And they're not, they're not being posed too many problems by Wellington at the moment. And they've lost the ball again. And Wellington rear tonight. I think they've lost the ball on six or seven occasions in the tackle round. And Saints move it again with Joey Hayes. Bobby Golding along the line, Carl Hammond, Hammond sidesteps, drives up the middle, support there from Gibbs, inside to Pickerbant, Pickerbant will drive up, he kicks again, he's in the Warrington 20. Saints move it up, Golding again, the leader, chips it for the corner, it's not forward. Well, with eight minutes to the end of the first half, Saints in the lead, 24 points to nil. Golding feeds, out to Hammond. Throws the dummy with North, he gives it to Prescott, that's a big hit there. Finau comes in, excellent tackle. Now it's Hammond again. Saints spread it. Busby, sidesteps, drives in, looking for support. That's the third of six. And Cunningham moves it to the right. Drop off ball there to Perellini. Warrington have to line up on their own line. Saints pressing again. Here's the captain, Golden, into passing with Hammond. Oh, lovely ball to Booth. Saints in again. It's easy, isn't it? It's easy. <laughs> 33 minutes gone. Simon Booth in for his second of the season. <laughs> Cunningham restarts onto Perellini. The Terminator drives for the line, 10 metres short. Cunningham at acting halfback. Golding running the angle, drawing the play across. Good tackling by the wire as they come in, they close Busby down. Yes, in Harris, I think the tackler was there. But it's Golding again, the man that's running the show. Oh, pick a Vance, he's in! The gap opened in between Finau 
and Mark Hilton and pick of Ant in for the easiest to tries. Thirty-four nil and Golden looking for the hundred percent record. Oh, and it's there between the uprights. Six out of six. Thirty-six points. There's the hooter for the half-time. Saints go in. The crowd are ecstatic. Well, the Saints crowd are anyway. Nine for Warrington. I was talking to one of his workmates or his ex-workmates last night in Mosley, not far from Oldham where I live. Paul Cullen again. Warrington lose possession immediately at the start of the second half. St Helens back in possession. Warrington a little bit overconfident there, I think, Ron. And Saints back in possession. Want to add some more to the 36. Yes, and they keep it going. Cunningham inside to Joey Hayes. Hayes takes it up 30 metres short of the Warrington line. All the Warrington side, they're waving their arms, they're gesticulating, looking to bring their defence in as Bobby Golding draws the Saints over there onto the main stand side. Matautia, angled run, out of one, turns it back. Saints keep it going. Perolini, he turns it back inside. Carl Hammond, Hammond, oh, that's a great try. That's a great try. Just a minute gone on the clock and Saints open their account. They keep the impetus going and Hammond in for Saints, seventh try of the evening. And Bobby Golding, who's had a marvellous game tonight, kicked six out of seven as well, puts the ball in, and Saints bring it back at Warrington. Here's the forward pass, and it was a forward pass, as Hammond breaks through, Arnold's with him, he slips it to Arnold! Arnold has to jink, comes back inside, he's lost possession, as he know, oh, he's still stuck hold. I thought the ball had gone, the referee moves in, Warrington still not back on side, but Saints keep it going, Busby, Lofty ball to Nordy, Nordy now, Nordy in for the try, it was Cunningham that was in between, and three minutes approaching, four minutes of the second half gone, Nordy goes in for his second of the evening, it's easy isn't it? It's a piece of cake, it's uh, an absolute disaster for Warrington and tremendous for the Saints and a great crowd here this evening. Good transfer into the ball there as the Saints took it down. Hammond did the damage, he went over to Arnold on the left wing. Then it was brought over to the right. Good, crisp, into passing. Cunningham with the final pass to Northey and Northey scooted in with the Warrington defence at all sixes and sevens. But after five minutes of the second half, 44-0 the score, Warrington will get uh, possession uh, from the scrum. And Golden kicks it deep. Warrington come away with it again. It's interesting, these rule changes actually, Ron, with St Helens kicking off to Warrington. People said at the, uh, a few weeks ago when the rule changes came in, this might even the game up, but it doesn't because it puts Warrington back under pressure, because even though they've got the ball, they're inside their own half. Andy Bennett. And let's hope Warrington stick to the task. 44 points to nil down after 46 minutes. And the way Saints are going, they'll score 80. Well, that doesn't happen. And nobody working harder there than Mark Hilton as he breaks into the Saints' half of the field. And Warrington could do with a try here. They're really playing for pride now. The Saints tackling very good again. I think that was Ian Knott. There's going to be a kick up in the air here. Right into the floodlights. Wanting to play, lost it. The Saints play, is he going to be tackled over the line? He gets away absolutely beautifully. And the Saints going to score again. The hand over to Rock. Joey Hayes all the way, gives it to Arnold. Arnold's taking down there. What a great move by Joey Hayes. Saints will play it. Warrington just regrouping. Pick of Vance. 30 metres out, Perolini straightens up, pushes two off, drives in, attracts three and four, still gets the ball away to Cunningham, Cunningham out to Hammond, Hammond drawing the defence in, Northey there, but that's well clamped on Andy Northey, 
15 metres now, Saints in the lead, 44 nil. 47 minutes gone, Golden taking command, cut out ball to Busby, it's knocked down by Warrington, do Saints have another set of six, is the tackle count still on? Saints are keeping it going, it's out to Arnold, oh it takes a high one there, on the far side, shrugs it off, now it's Golden, the ball back there, Saints are in! It's pumped down there, and Danny Arnold in for his second, but Bobby Golding making the difference again. Eight minutes gone in the second half, and another four points to the Saints, make it 48. 48 nil. Bobby Golding lucky to tag this one on. Been unsuccessful in this second half. From a different side of the field. Better angle for a right-footed kicker, is it? And he gets it this time. That brings the 50 up short. The Warrington have got a chance to put some points on the board. Warrington are going to score, are they? No, again, it's Ian Knott. Just pulled down short for about the fourth occasion. In fact, he's penalised for a double movement. Duty the turnover. 50 nil, 55 minutes gone. We're just falling behind in the scoring rate, Jim. Saints bring it to the right. Hammond. Tries to draw the defence in, Hammond sides through. Taking down just short of the 20-metre line. No, the attacked in half. Saints move it left. Golding out to Vivas. Vivas again moves it along. Oh, Busby taken by uh, Finau. Looked a little uh, suspicious. Last tackle now, Gibbs going for the line. Gibbs again. Oh, Gibbs is going. Well, he has the ball knocked out of his hand. That's a, a, an obstruction try he's given. Gibbs was moving down there, and the referee's given an obstruction try. Again, onto Yestin Harris. Harris trying to spin around, getting the ball away. That's gone to ground, and it's a knock on, and so many things have gone wrong for Wellington tonight. Yes, he doesn't want to come off. He's been carrying a leg injury for quite a few weeks. Whether that's a recurrence, we'll say it's win possession from the scrum. It's now with Joey Hayes. Manoa Thompson comes in. Courier in there as well, very aggressively. Saints move it left, Beavers. Full of running, takes it up, mind you. All the Saints are fully run, full of running. Your side's full of running when you're stuffing the opposition by 56 nil, isn't it? Out to Arnold on the far side. 20 metres from the Warrington line, 61 minutes gone. Cunningham acting half, flicks the ball right, drop off to Perellini, Perellini, the Terminator, aim for the try, pick the balls out of that! He didn't want to come off and that's why this big Western Samoan powered his way to the line, him for his second of the evening. 24 minutes gone in the second 40. Really have been passengers tonight. They've watched this game rather, I think, than played in it. Yestin Harris. Wanting to lose the ball again. Another knock on, another scrum. Another feed, another head, and another feed for St Helens. And Bobby Golding this time feeding on the blind side, on the narrow side. 20 yards in. The new rules. The loose ball picks it up, a good break here. And Saints back in possession midway between the 20 and the halfway line. And they're still going forward. And every Saints player is proving difficult to put down, Ron. Yes, the, the ramp at this evening. And when uh, when you're on song, when you're buzzing, you're buzzing, man, aren't you? Matautia. 18 metres short of the line, centre field. Cunningham shrugs the tackle, gives it to Golden. Golden with the back pass back to Beavers. Out of the back door to Pickerance. Pickerance again. Oh, big drive there. Simon Booth. And Golden, he's up in the air, isn't he? He's delighted. He meets Phil Beavers. But Simon Booth in for his second. And as you said, Jim, the Saints are rampant. That must be four tackles gone in this play. Warrington only five or six yards out. 
and this time again to Justin Harris. Ball Cullen, he can't get the ball away. He can this time onto Bennett, but that's the fourth tackle in Paris, the last. What are Wellington going to do? Justin Harris is going to try and go on his own. Paul Cullen again, getting the ball away onto Knott. But that's going to be the changeover, and Wellington can't get over the line for love nor money. No, the Saints defence has been superb this evening. The attack has been paramount. The rugby has been fantastic if you're a Saints spectator. But nothing going right for the wire this evening. Both these sides, Jim, were here again on Sunday. Warrington and Saints will be doing battle. Me and you will be doing battle. But it's a game, obviously, that you want to forget. Without a doubt. But I'm still looking forward to Sunday because even though I'm a Warrington supporter, I think the quality of rugby league is more important than any team. Saints have played absolutely superbly. And even though I wanted Warrington to win this, I can only marvel at the rugby that Saints have played. And they're still in possession now. And they still want another try to break into the 70. And they're still going forward. And Warrington is still finding them difficult to put down. And there's another break coming in here, Ron. Yes, Arnold again, going for the line, side steps, in and out, check it all about. Ten metres from the line, 68 nil. five minutes to go. Saints looking for the extras. Busby couldn't sneak it out to Northy. Looking for the 70, that was the last tackle. That was a quick set of six, Jim. But everything they've done, Ron's gone wrong. They certainly have. As you said, Jim Saints still looking for more points. Prescott, Prescott puts the gas pedal down. Prescott going in and he salutes as he goes over for the four pointer right from the base of the scrum. Prescott linking up with the back division. Right on the 40th minute on my watch, but as you said, Jim, we've had uh, quite a bit of uh, stoppage time, possibly about three minutes to go. As Mike Ford trying to inject his side, trying to keep them going, but a beaten side as Yestin Harris chips it through. Prescott gathers it. Prescott, is he on his way again? He's over the 20. He's racing down. He's linking up with Arnold. Arnold puts the gas pedal down. The cover defence comes over. Saints are hungry. They're rampant. They're looking for the extra one. Golden. Over to Pickavance. Now with Booth. Booth racing there, Northy, Northy in, yes he slid over, Northy scores, and Saints register the try which brings him 78 points, Northy in for his hat-trick. He's missed two, he slots that one, 80 points are up, and Goldins. 12th goal of the night. There's the final hooter. The Saints players are ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. What a game. Six tries in the first half. Eight in the second. 14 tries in all. Bobby Golden with 12 goals and Golden here salutes the crowd as the Saints go round. Warrington, they do shake hands, but a depleted side, obviously, as the Saints there applaud as they come round. 80 minutes of rugby, 80 points scored. A fantastic display in this Regal Trophy as the Saints march on to the final.